Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, it's Francesco here. In today's video we're going to dive into top note-taking applications. Now we did a video on this more recently about, uh, I think it was a top uh, 10 or 12 note-taking applications, so you can check that one out in the video below. These are more for my own personal recommendations for people who are considering note-taking or they are looking at a note-taker that they can use for an extended period of time. These are some of the opinions, I've broken it down to four categories, connected, traditional, Markdown and Modern to help you sort of pick which one might be most suitable for you and I've picked three sort of main runners and one sort of winner so hopefully they can give you some solutions there. Anyway guys before we begin our sponsor today is ClickUp here's a little bit more about them. So this month's sponsor on Keep Productive is ClickUp and if you haven't heard of ClickUp already it's a powerful productivity platform designed to be the one place for all your work. Now it's great to have them back on as a sponsor to keep productive and ClickUp has over 200,000 teams using them to get organized and how to know everything from to-do lists to resource management. Now with the ability to change views, ClickUp offers a flexible way for teams to design their own workspaces to get things done and with a huge host of integrations, they can connect with tools they're already using. Most recently, they've added the ability to email externally inside of ClickUp without leaving the workspace. Now, ClickUp are offering an exciting discount off their business and enterprise plans. You can find out a little bit more below. And thank you guys again for coming on. And do check them out in the description below. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Talk soon. Okay, so let's start. These are all great for personal note taking. So whilst there are some sharing abilities in them, it's not really designed for teams per se. So the first category I'm going to go for is the best connected. And what I mean by best connected is ones that have bi-directional linking inside of them. Um, the main reason I want to bring this up because it's a very popular trend at the moment. Well, not just a trend, it probably is the way that note taking applications can head in the future. This whole sort of brain ideology that we're going to have a system that connects up our notes and keeps us organized and helps us to produce better sort of like brain like synapses between different notes is a cool but also very very useful concept so i have three that i want to point towards you the first typical recommendation i give for people who are looking at these is obsidian and the main reason behind that is because one it's a free application you can use it offline on your mac windows and linux devices for desktop they are coming out with mobile and it's it's free to use and to get started and i believe that's going to continue forever because they've got a downloadable version of it. Um, the other thing I like about it is the fact that it's so available on different devices um, and that is pretty decent to have them have that set up already. The second one is Rome Research which again is a very popular one in the community. It has some great abilities and some really awesome note philosophies behind it. So I think if you're someone that is uh, really keen on the whole note linking philosophies then both Obsidian and Rome are great options for you. It's, it's a little bit pricier at $15 per month but I put it in a close second place because if people are willing to spend money then people do like the support and the you know the quality of life inside of Rome research tends to be a lot better and they tend to upgrade it um, on a pretty routine basis so the third one is actually something that I tip, I'm, I'm recommending more often because it comes from an application that's been in the productivity space for a little bit of time and that's hypernotes that comes from developer Zenkit who's been creating project manager for several years now but the reason I sort of point people towards it is because it's actually a good way of getting people started with uh, the whole uh, sort of connected notes philosophy but if you're not sort of willing to jump into something like obsidian or rome then this might be a bit of a, a better warming start for you um, and maybe even allow you to stay there for much more time so moving on i am gonna sort of call this category best traditional so best traditional i'd say is ones that use a more of a traditional note-taking setup allowing you to save documents but allowing you to um, take notes um, with some of the more basic and flexible abilities but maybe not as advanced as say databases and things like that. So I've got three options here. The first one I would say is Evernote, just because Evernote seems to be the all rounder. It was someone, it's something I typically recommend to a lot of people who are stuck with note taking applications because it just does most of the jobs, being able to email stuff in, being able to save PDFs and being able to search using handwriting is all very useful for the general user. The second um, and probably close second option is OneNote. This is Microsoft's option and comes with a great amount of a drawing 
abilities, especially if you have a Microsoft device or an iPad as well. Now, I would say that OneNote is really close to Evernote. It's more of a preference than um, an experience. And of course, you know that you obviously can get Evernote in the free plan, but there are some limitations to that. Whereas with OneNote, they've got more packing a punch inside of that plan. So the third recommendation is Nimbus Note. And this is actually very close to the design of Evernote and it has a bunch of features that are really attractive. Now in the premium, I would say that this application rivals the likes of Evernote, introducing some pretty nice features. I really like some of the, although not very attractive looking, um, some of the extensions they use to be able to clip and record media, and also some of the web clippers um, replicate what you can do inside of Evernote. And I would find the application a lot faster to use actually, just ever so slightly faster, with less bugs at the moment, at least uh, from Evernote's front. So I would say in that top sort of solutions, it's Evernote, OneNote, and Nimbus Note. So when it comes to markdown applications, uh, I've called a category best markdown. Down. Uh, so the first one on my list there is Bear Notes. Bear Notes is a really attractive iOS and Mac application. Comes with a pretty nice Pro plan as well for the year $14.99. However, if you don't even want to use the Pro, you can still use the application. You just won't be able to sync between devices and get access to certain features. However, it does do a pretty good experience of you know getting all that you need done. And it's beautiful markdown. It's very secure as well. You can encrypt it using Touch ID, and uh, that's something a lot of people like. Bear Notes also looks really attractive and allows you to do a range of different things when it comes to exporting and also with Markdown itself. My second option or recommendation would be Standard Notes. This is more of a security focused application. It uses AES265 security which helps secure all of your notes, encrypts them and for a lot of people this is something that they really like. They've also got a five year plan and it's an application that doesn't really have much in the free. However if you do upgrade you've got tons of things called plugins where you can add themes and different layouts and that really takes your standard account a lot further. And my final recommendation to you guys is Agenda Notes. I think this is a gorgeous application and it does weave between calendar and note taking. So you can plan your calendar around your notes and your notes around your calendar to help organize. This could be good for somebody who takes meeting notes or who is more data associated with their productivity. Finally, we have a category called Best Modern and the main reason I'm sort of talking about this one is just because I would say we're transitioning into to a point where modern note takers potentially might be overtaking the traditional note takers. We're just not there yet for the mass market. So my sort of top three recommendations are Notion, Craft and Workflowy. So Notion, as we all know, uh, creates a stunning experience, a very clean, minimal application. It allows you to take notes and using a range of different methodologies. I love how you can use database templates inside a Notion to create, for example, a journal instantaneously or create a meeting notes set up. Um, but it really does save you huge amounts of time, uh, especially inside of you know using the application on a daily basis. The next up is Craft. This is slowly growing as a uh, Notion rival. It is uh, a personal wiki, I'd say, personal wiki docs, note taker application, but it's really, really fast on iOS and Mac, and they've only just recently released a beta of their web version. So it's a really interesting application, and you can do uh, bi-directional linking inside of it, so it does give you an option there. It doesn't have some of the advanced abilities like databases, however it is a really nice option. Finally Workflowy also Dynalist is a good option too. Both of these are great for outliners. It's more of an outliner application. You won't be able to do some of the more advanced stuff that you wouldn't decide of Notion in this application. However I know a lot of people like that clean simple look at just being able to create simple bullets and be able to nest notes below them. So for some people the concept of Dynalist and uh, Workflowy is a really good option for them. There's also a great video that we did here on Keep Productive with Herb Cordill who I met at an event who actually came on to dive into how he uses Dynalist. It's an awesome video and I really like how he organizes his productivity methodology around an outliner. So I'd recommend checking that video out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. Make sure to check out ClickUp and all of the recommendations below. Hopefully today's video was useful if you're looking for a note-taking application right now. Anyway guys, a big thank you. See you later guys. Thank you very much.